So when I'm using the browser, I use the browser's inbuilt zoom effect all the time, which allows me to zoom in on pages and make the text larger and easier to read. Um, but the other day, when I was using Datadog, I was zooming into some graphs in order to take a screenshot, and I realized that the entire layout of the page began to change as I zoomed in. And it made me realize that I have no existing mental model for how things like CSS media queries and pixel density uh, are affected by the zoom in feature. So to try to flesh out that mental model a little bit, I created a demo here in which the default uh, colors for the body are black with white text, and then I'm setting up some media queries that are increasing in min width so that as the size of the browser increases, the background color starts to get lighter and lighter, and then eventually we get to a point where we have a light background and dark text. Now, in addition to these media queries, I also wanted to look at the resize event to see if the zoom in, zoom out is being registered as a resize event on the window. Uh, so you can see here that I'm registering a resize event handler, but then I'm also going to set up some media query change listeners. Now, I didn't actually know that this is something that you could do, um, but if we jump down to this setup media query listeners, what you'll see is that I'm grabbing my style sheet, the one that I have uh, up here, and I'm looping through all of the CSS rules, and I'm looking for the ones that have a media value, and the media is gonna be something like this, screen and min width. Um, and then what I can actually do is I can call this window.matchmedia on that value, which is something again like screen and min width equals 400 pixels, and what that's going to do is it's going to return this media query list object, which I can then add a change listener to. So as that media query uh, matches and then unmatches the state of the document, this handler will be called and it'll allow me to look at uh, things like whether or not the media query list object matches the current state of the document or not. So essentially what we have here is a demo that does three things. One, it uses the CSS media queries to change the visual representation of the document as we zoom in and zoom out. It also registers, or it also logs the initial state of all of our media queries, and then it logs changes for the resize and the media query matches. So let's take a look at what happens. So in the browser here, so we're at uh, zero uh, zoom, and as I begin to zoom in, Note that we get a resize event, so we see that the zoom is being registered as a resize. And let's keep going. And then here you can see I hit a point where um, the size of the browser is now smaller than my largest media query min width. In fact, it's smaller than two of them, right? We drop down below. Uh, you can see here we have 858 pixels, which is smaller than both the 900 and the 1000 pixel um, media query. And you can see that the browser background got darker. And as we continue to zoom in, oops, sorry, wrong window. As we continue to zoom in, we can see that the resize and media query events are firing, and the browser continues to get darker and darker as we fall below the min widths on all of the CSS media queries in my style sheet. And then as we zoom back out, you can see that the browser is getting lighter, the text is getting darker, and uh, we can see that the media query continue to change and the resize event continues to fire. So uh, my big takeaway here from a mental model standpoint is that the zoom in the browser of, triggers a resize event. Uh, and we can also see that the screen, the, the kind of programmatic size of the screen decreases as we zoom in, which is why we're getting our color changes because our media queries continue to match and, and non-match based on the zoom level. Uh, and then also, it's pretty cool that we can create this uh, media match, these match media, media query list objects that allow us to look at the state of the document against a particular media query. I didn't know that that was a thing. Uh, I don't have a particular use case off the top of my head, but uh, I'm almost certain that this is going to be a helpful feature at some point in the future. So I'm just going to leave that in my back pocket uh, so that I can rock out with it sometime later. But uh, anyway, I feel like at least now I have a better mental model of how the zoom is affecting the size of the screen, the pixel density of the screen, 
and uh, how it interacts with the CSS media queries. So uh, if you didn't ever think about this, hopefully now you're thinking about it and um, some interesting takeaways, I think.